Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. As you know that from past few months, we are covering the subject of chemical reaction engineering and I have brought different videos on different topics. So today we are bringing the lecture number 39, which is focused on the use of polymath to design a micro reactor. In our lecture number 32, we had solved an example related to micro reactors and I promised you over there that we will be using polymath to design a micro reactor. Today we are going to do that and I'm giving the link of that video in the pop-up screen which will be showing to you right now so that you can first go to that video. You can see how we had calculated or how we had derived the equations and now we will be using these equations in polymath or if you can see here that was the example which was example number 6.1 that an irreversible second order system and elementary system or elementary reaction system is taking place in micro reactors which are connected in parallel with temperature as 425 degree centigrade pressure as 1641 kilopascal pure nocl is to be fed and accordingly we were given different calculations and what is the reactor volume necessary to achieve 85 percent conversion that was our question and accordingly k value was given activation energy value was given we had solved most balance on these species df over dv is equal to ra dfp over dv is equal to rb and dfc over dv is equal to r of c then we had written the rate law minus r is equal to kc square we had used relative rate principle to derive r of p and r of c then we had used the stoichiometry to derive the expressions of concentration of a b and c and the total flow rate then we had combined these and then we had evaluated the value of ct naught so using these equations, we will now be going to polymath to solve it and to find out the value of volume of the reactor to achieve 85% conversion. So first we need to click on the new polymath program and we have to use the differential equation module. And previously we had seen how we can use the polymath. So we will first enter the differential equation for species A. It will be Fa over V is equal to Ra. Nomenclature should be same if it is small a over here, it should be small a over here, and the total flow rate initially is 2.26 e of minus 5. Click on done. Then for b part, fb over v is equal to rb, and the initial value of flow rate of b species is 0. In the same way for c, fc, rc, and 0. Once we have defined the differential equations. There are some undefined variables the rate of reaction so r a is equal to minus k into c a raised to power 2 r b is equal to minus r a r c is equal to 1 by 2 into minus r a k is given at some different temperature the system temperature is 698 kelvin while the value at which k is given is 500 kelvin so we have to use formula 0.29 into exponential e over r into 1 over 500 minus 1 over t. I can say it simply as r1. I will explain its reason within a couple of minutes. Now the value of e is 24,000. r1 is 1.987 and the value of t is 698 Kelvin. Now we need to know the value of ca. If ca is known, everything will be solved. ca is equal to ct naught into fa over ft now ct naught is equal to p naught over rt naught so p over r2 divided by t because r2 is 8.314 over here if i had defined r over here and r over here that would have been inconsistent so that is why i've used r1 because we have to use a value of 1.97 because it's the activation energy given in, in calories while here we have to use the different units. The value of pressure is 1641 kilopascal and temperature is already defined. Ft, the total flow rate is equal to Fa plus Fb plus F the sum, the sum of all the flow rates. We have not defined initial or final values of the independent variables, so we have to go over here to define this. The initial value of volume is 0, while that of the final value is 1 epsilon minus 5. And now it is ready for the solution, but we have to check whether we got the required conversion or not. So 1 minus Fa over Fa naught 
and f naught again will be 2.26 e of minus 5. This is just a way of doing it. Although you can see that f naught, which we have defined here, and the f naught are same only because of some polymath reasons. So now this solve button is active. Now we will just click it and we will see whether we have achieved 85% conversion or not. So you can see that 84.5% conversion is achieved over here. You can see the rate of reaction of A has decreased while that of B and C are increased in the system. The total concentration of A is decreased in the system. Obviously, it is very understood that the A will decrease because it is a reactant. The total concentration will remain the same. The flow rate of A is decreased. So we want to get exact 85% conversion. We have to make some iterations like if we say 1.042 e raised to the power minus 5, the conversion will be exact 85%. So, this is how we have designed the micro reactor. If you want to see the different graphs and different tables in the micro reactor, in the polymath, what you can do, you have to click on this graph and this table to get these. So, again, click on solve. First, it will take you to the report. Then you can see the graph and you can see this blue line represents a species which is decreasing in the system the other two lines represent the b species and c species which are increasing in the system because these are the product of the system in the same way you can see the table that with the increase in volume the flow rate of species a is decreasing because obviously it's reacted in the system while that of b and c is increasing because these are the product in the system the values of r1 and R2 are constant parameters because these are the ideal gas constants. So these are the fixed values. The temperature value is fixed. The pressure value is fixed. There is no pressure drop. There is no temperature change. Isothermal system. The value of total concentration obviously will remain the same as that of the activation energy. The value of K will obviously remain the same because there is no change in temperature. As you can see, the total flow rate is changing in the system because of the different values of A, B, and C. The value of concentration of A is decreasing in the system. The value of rate of reaction is decreasing in the system while that of for B and C as well. While the value of F0 is constant, it's an initial value. While you can see the value of X is increasing as the length of the reactor is increasing. Because you can see that once we talk about the volume, as it is designed like a PFR, so we say that along the length of the reactor, there is a change. The total volume is changing by the length. So as we progress through the length, there is different conversion in the system. And that is why we say that it is specially non-uniform in the system. So that is how the overall system is designed using polymath. I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any curious feedback suggestion, please provide it in the comment box. And I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on